I'm a doctor, I'm also a scientist, and my group finds genes that cause cancer. I was born in Bristol. My parents um, are from Bangladesh and they came over in the 60s. And my father is a doctor, my mother is a teacher, so medicine was, um, was a sort of natural choice in, in, in many ways. Um, I've always wanted to be useful. I mean, I had a very happy childhood, but I think I was constantly aware of sort of being different, coming from a different background more in terms of race rather than gender. I went to a girls' school, so I, I wasn't really aware of that. But when I was growing up, it was still a time of apartheid. And, uh, and so those kinds of racial um, discrimination I, I were, were very powerful for me when I was, when I was a, a teenager. They had a powerful impact on me. And, and that really sort of made it clear to me from a very, very early age that there wasn't just one way of doing things, that, that there's a sort of, there's sort of um, different types of reality and, and actually you can't please all of the people all of the time or sometimes you can't please any of the people any of the time. So what you need to do is really have a core of authenticity about what you want to do. I started out in this uh, career because I was seeing families in my clinic who had multiple of cases of cancer in the family, running through the family, which suggested there was something inherited going on. That's what we do, we sort of, um, we're sort of puzzle solvers, we're trying to solve why in um, certain families more people get cancer than you'd expect by chance. A really, really important um, aim for me and for my group is to try and make the discoveries that we uh, make as widely available as possible and to get the testing and anything that can benefit people to be as broadly available as possible. Tell me he's crazy, oh, tell me he's slow, tell me he's lazy. Maybe I know. Everybody does have time for lots of other things. We always have to eat, we have to sleep, we have to do things. And, and music was always a sort of constant part of my life. I sort of grew up singing a lot of those jazz standards and I still love them. But I, I really, really love singing heavily emotional songs. Sweet, calming Valentine. I put that up on um, SoundCloud, which is a wonderful platform where anybody can just put music up if they want to. And people started listening to it, and it was what was wonderful is I hadn't, I didn't put it up as sort of Nazni and the Professor of Science. I was just putting up music, and so on that pl platform I was just known as a singer-songwriter. So I started thinking of myself as a singer-songwriter. Is your figure less than green? I still want to do other things. I still want to learn things. But uh, it's, it's choosing, it's having, deciding that the things that you've got are the things that you want, I think, can make one sort of feel like one's, one has it all. I never sing at the office. <laughs>